Hello. Well, with the Olympic Games over, I guess many of us are wondering how we find the inspiration, the examination each night of where the sporting competition went. And it was interesting during that time that we were able to engage, because we're in a similar time zone, with um, some of the excitement of various dramas around the athletes' participation. Australians are always uh, eager to see our uh, athletes succeed. And this revival of um, an ancient uh, pagan celebration of the human body and its wonders. I've been interested to wonder what are the, the deep learnings that such an event carried out with such a lot of commitment and investment, the years that go into people's preparation, what might there be behind it? And it's interesting, there aren't a lot of developed Christian theologies of sport and competition. One of the reflections I came upon was from Ernest Bergman. He was a Bishop of Goulburn in 1934 later became Canberra and Goulburn Diocese and continued in that role until 1961. He wrote a book about the education of an Australian. And he took the view that play, the joy of just doing things for the sake of it, was an innate part of our humanity. And not just that, it was something that was applicable in every form of life. And he goes through and explains how for the, the scientists, the sense of play leads into a hypothesizing. For those who are scholars in other areas, it leads to the development of their imaginative faculties. And he says that for the spiritual person, it's the most fundamental proposition. And he says, the saint says, let me hold to the view that God is unlimited and primary love, and let me live it out. And he says in that way, uh, saints, and he quotes St. Francis, always seem to be people who are learning. So the connection between play, this capacity to imagine into a, a character of God, and live and invest ourselves in that, is something which is at the foundation, he says, of our capacity to develop a spiritual life. And I think that you can see when you look at the training of the athletes, the amount of effort they put into it, uh, the hopes and expectations that so many people have of them, that wouldn't it be something if our Christian discipleship was even, pick your percentage, half, a tenth, or whatever of that in terms of the focus and the community confidence of supporting us in that journey. Well, of course, that's what the life of the church is about. A community that encourages us as we continue in our journey of discipleship. During the week, we've had the Australian Census and uh, I, I fill that census out, and as part of it, uh, I'm asked what sort of industry I'm in, uh, and what does that industry produce? Well, I said that I was part of the Anglican Church. And in the small space I had available, I said that what we produced was spiritual salvation and the outcome of that community. So it'll be interesting to think what people in a hundred years' time, when those records are released, make of my response and how they contrast the Anglican Church in a hundred years' time to what I'm uh, purporting it to be today. But the journey of discipleship uh, is always in those multiple directions, about our journey towards God, our own salvation, and then that salvation not just being selfish, but being part of the openness to others the gathering of others into a life that they can be encouraged to. So as you are encouraged, encourage someone else. And we can do that in many means. We can just ask people to pray with us. I know some people who've been really relishing in the opportunity of some online prayer services. There's some great prayer apps that are available 
from the Church of England, from the Anglican Church of Australia, and people have been joining just online uh, to say prayers in the morning and the evening, the morning and evening prayer of the church. Uh, they're very simple things that can be done. Sometimes just writing a, a letter, if you still do that, to others and saying that uh, you are praying for them and would they pray for you. Now, none of you may feel that you're Olympians uh, yourself, but in the spiritual quest, there is something of that character, of the virtues we see, of persistence, of discipline, of community encouragement, that are part of our life as Christian believers. May the Lord Jesus bless you and keep you, watch over you and protect you this day and evermore. Amen.